Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Fall golf season is underway, and with us, head coach Kyle Wittenbeck. Coach, uh, first of all, welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me again. Got the season started both on the men's and women's sides uh, here in the, the past week or so. Uh, just just talk about where you're at uh, here coming into the fall season. Yeah, we've had the uh, two away tournaments for the men already. The women just hosted their uh, regional fall preview, and all of them were very successful, and we accomplished all the goals we tried to accomplish, so we're just going to keep doing that. You mentioned uh, the women hosting the, the uh, fall invitational here and a preview of the regional, the NCAA championships that you'll host uh, coming up here in the spring. Yes, so we're hosting the NCAA regional event for uh, the Midwest region at Catkey, and we you do a little preview event for everyone to kind of give them a chance to see the course, see the area, kind of get used to it. The green complexes at our home golf course are fairly complicated, so it gives them a good chance to to see those and practice those and, and kind of get ready for the for the regional in the spring um, so that they can have the best advantage possible. So we had a good field. As we go to some of the highlights uh, from this past weekend's Women's Invitational, obviously a khaki golf course in, in great shape as always. Yeah, it looked really, really good. Uh, Ian Ziska and our professional staff there at, the, at our home course, they do a fantastic job of getting it ready and, and running the event. I mean, it went through fr uh, flawlessly and there were really no major hang-ups or anything, it was just a well-run tournament. So not not because of me, but because of <laughs> how good of our, our staff is and, and the PGA apprentices that help uh, help do everything. Uh, Bailey Thompson kind of leading the way for you, a newcomer, uh, finished in a tie of 11th place, and uh, you had some newcomers that were able to take part for the first time. Yeah, so we have a really young team, and yep, Bailey Thompson played one for us as a freshman, her first event ever, finished just two strokes out of the top 10 uh, in 11th place. So really good start for her, and then, um, other players like Margot Brown there, who's first collegiate tournament as well, but as a uh, sophomore, redshirt sophomore, but she's uh, on our women's basketball team as well, so she's getting her reps in and, and uh, having a good time doing so. So we had, we had a good event, and we're happy with how everything turned out. I know we talked a little bit about uh, you, you used the fall here with uh, some, some kids redshirting, some kids away on internships, and, and some of that uh, takes place in the fall as well. Yeah, so for both programs, actually all five of the freshmen that I recruited for this year's class on both the men's and, and women's side are all in the PGA Golf Management program. So what that means is they go on a little bit of a longer academic um, schedule and they take about one year off, sometimes three semesters off, to go on those academic internships for the program. And so when they do that, of course, they're not around to play and, and we're, in a, we're in a period right now on both, both teams where they, they both kind of are without their seniors or without their juniors and so this is a, a building year for both teams in terms of giving the young players as many reps as possible, getting them in as many tournaments as possible, so that when those juniors and seniors come back from internship, we're firing on all cylinders. So it's really exciting right now, and it's fun for the younger players to get out there. I know we didn't have a chance to talk at the end of last spring after uh, after the men's season concluded. Just talk about uh, their, their great finish last year, reaching the national quarterfinals. Yeah, what an incredible accomplishment. So the, the best part of the story is we set this, uh, we call it the school record, I guess, the the 18 hole and the 54 hole record, 18 under in the final round. We kept uh, a 64, 67, 68, and 71. And it was just an incredible round. We caught fire and, and jumped from outside of the qualifying teams to second place and, and got our trip to uh, Orlando sealed. So we went there. Um, also had a very good final round there. That course was really hard. Uh, playing with some of the, all the best teams in the country, obviously, uh, was a really good experience. and how they work it in the national championship is the top 20 teams in the country from all the regional qualifiers play in the national championship in the final eight from three rounds of stroke play competition qualify for match play. So we snuck into the seventh spot, which was really, really awesome. And we got to play the two seed in the match play portion, Florida Southern. And it was a really close match. We got beat. It looked handily on paper, but it was very, very close. And um, they went on to win the national championship. So. Uh, we made it. We had a pretty good run, and it was a ton of fun, and, and we'll never forget it for sure. An exciting season uh, in your first year, this uh, your second year. Uh, just talk about uh, moving forward here, and and how you build on those experiences that you were able to gain last year as a team. Yeah, so we're using those experiences on the men's team to really build the freshmen up this year, and we have, like I said, a lot of PGA golf management students coming in, um, kind of learning the ropes, and you know what good is. So we kind of have to redefine what good is because when you come out of high school good is something when you go to college, good is something different. When you graduate, good is something different again. So you just kind of have to reteach. Um, this is what good is now. This is what great is and kind of redefine those terms. And once they start to understand it, then they get a, a clearer picture of, of where we're going and where they're headed. And, and that's what we're doing. 
Obviously, the fall season a little bit shorter than uh, some sports as you, you have to battle the weather outside. I just talk about what takes place moving forward here for the next month or so in the fall. So the men have two more events. They have one coming up this weekend in Finley, and then they finish up in Tiffin. And the women have three more, a little bit more spread out in October, um, just depending on the schedule of the season. Since I'm you know, one head coach for two programs, I like to try to lay the men's and women's programs as little over top of each other on the weekends as possible so that I can travel with both teams as much as I can. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to finish up here sooner than you know, you know, you would think. But we start up again in March uh, for spring break, and we just go straight through the spring. So we actually, both programs have more tournaments in the spring this year, about seven, uh, and about four or five, depending on the program in, in the fall. So uh, it really gets going in the spring. How important is this uh, fall season, especially with so many young kids, uh, to get them uh, adjusted to the college game? Yeah, it depends on the kids too. So we have players from Indonesia that have never been in the States before and you know, just from all over the country, Arizona. So the climate change is, is where it's really important and the food is different and just the, the, the weather, I guess, is the big one. But once they get the hang of that in the fall, then they really get to have to figure it out during the winter and when the spring comes around, um, that's when you know, we have them prepped, ready to go. And the spring is the more important season for golf. It's the championship season. Uh, the end of the spring and end of April is when we host the conference championship and then the regionals right after that and the national championship follows. So this is a great time of the year to enjoy the good weather, not have to travel too far south and um, kind of feel out how the team's moving forward and tweak some things and then just get ready for the spring where it counts. Obviously, uh, being in the Midwest region here, uh, some strong competition that you're seeing each and every week in these tournaments. Yeah, um, Grand Valley this year has a really good team, I hate to say it, but <laughs> we're going to be chasing them and, and Wayne State, and on the men's side anyway. And then um, Wayne State, for the men, just had a really good week. They won the tournament down that uh, Grand Valley hosted. So they're very strong as well. And on the women's side, Grand Valley women are always really good. And, and Northern Michigan has a really good team this year as well. So those are the two that we're going to be trying to keep up with. Well, Coach, uh, best of luck to the Bulldogs as you uh, wrap up the fall season here over the next month or so. Cool. Thanks so much, Rob. That's going to do it for Ferris Sports Update. Reminder, you can follow all the action and get all the results online at ferrisstatebulldogs.com. Have a great week.